Let's begin with uh, our topic, a prophecy for the time of the end. This is considered the most difficult prophecy to interpret in the Bible. And I must admit, it is complex. But it is beautiful. I, we are going to ask God to really help us with this uh, because I have half the time that I normally would have to explain it. Because the other half belongs to Dr. Shum. <laughs> so we want to thank Dr. Shum for translating for us. <laughs> I, I suspect he didn't translate exactly what I just said. <laughs> I translate almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Soon, according to Daniel 2, soon and very soon, we're going to see this. Uh, we're going to see the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And with the glory of the Father and His holy angels, the Bible says. To my son, take a wing, you, to my soil, teensy. And all kinds of people will rise up from the tombs to receive him. Among them, among them will be some of your loved ones. And the rest of us, if we are alive still, we will all see him with our very eyes and move towards him to meet him in the air. But right before that, as I mentioned in the last session, there will be three angels with powerful messages to the world. And the first angel said with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to Him. For the hour of His judgment has come. So according to this text, the judgment comes before His return. So according to this text, the judgment that seems to be corroborated by other texts in the Bible. Chapter 22 says, He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. In the next verse, and behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. So you see, there is a connection between being judged and his coming. So you see, if you, have, uh, if you have been judged right, you remain right until he comes. If you have been judged wicked, that person will remain wicked until he comes. And he says he's coming quickly with his reward with him. One of my sons runs races. He's a very good runner. He runs marathons and he runs uh, ultra races. And 
And he's very good at it. He's among the fastest in his race, usually. And when I was a young father, I took my boys and we raced, we entered races. And my boys always won and I never won. They were always better runners than I was. Uh, but after the race, we waited. We waited for the reward. A reward is not given until you have accomplished something, right? So, Jesus says, when he comes, he will come with his reward. That means he will need to have made decisions about who gets the reward and who doesn't get the reward. Many people believe that the judgment will take place after the coming of Jesus. But there is a portion of the judgment that takes place before the coming of Jesus. So the question is, are we now living in the time of the judgment? Because if we are now living in the time of the judgment, these are very important times. The Apostle Peter says the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. So according to the Bible, judgment will not begin with people who do not know God. It will begin with God's people, the house of God. The judgment of the church then is before his coming. We have the second coming. Followed by the thousand years. We're going, to, uh, we're going to study that this week. And then after the thousand years, the return of Jesus. When he comes for the third time. The third and last time, according to the Bible. And this corresponds with the three phases of the judgment. This is important to know. Because it gives you a frame of reference of what we're talking about. The first phase is called an investigative phase, which takes place before the thousand years. The second phase is called the review or trial phase during the thousand years. And the third, the, the third phase is the executive or sentencing phase. Which is, which is after the thousand years. It goes very much like our legal system today. Let's say somebody committed a crime. What does the police do? They turn it over to the district attorney. And, and they do an investigation. And when, 
And when they have enough evidence, they bring it to trial. 咁如果佢認為啊有足夠嘅證據啦，佢就會將呢個案件交去呢個法院。The investigation is the first phase. The trial is the second phase. So, first, is to first to investigate, and then to judge. And what happens when the trial is over? Then, in the trial, the judge will then try to find out the truth. Then, in the trial, the judge will then try to find out the truth. Then, in the trial, the judge will then try to find out the truth. Then, in the trial, the judge will then try to find out the truth. Then, in the trial, the judge will then try to find out the truth. Then, in the trial, the judge will then try to find out the truth. Then, in the trial, the judge will then try to find out the truth. Then, in the trial, the judge will then try to find out the truth. Then, in the trial, the judge will then try to find out the truth. Then, in the trial, the judge will then try to find out the truth. Then, in the Pronounces a sentence on that person. If this person has committed the crime, he has committed the crime. He will be punished with what kind of punishment? If the person has been found innocent, then there is an exoneration. The person is let go. If this person has been found innocent, he will be punished with what kind of punishment? So what we're talking about right now is the first phase, the investigation phase. Come, what we're talking about now is the investigation phase. And the investigation phase begins with the people of God. Come, the investigation phase begins with the people of God. Come, the investigation phase begins with the people of God. Evidently, right now we're going through that investigation phase because. We are living in the days right before the coming of Christ. I believe now is the time of the trial. Because we are very close to the time of Jesus coming back. We will see that a little more clearly in a few minutes. We will see that a little more clearly in a few minutes. We will see that a little more clearly in a few minutes. We will see that a little more clearly in a few minutes. So where does this judgment take place? So where does this judgment take place? So where does this judgment take place? We read in the book of Daniel about this judgment. So where does this judgment take place? So where does this judgment take place? In chapter seven, I watched until thrones were put in place and the ancient of days were seated. Uh, in chapter seven, we read that I watched until thrones were put in place and the ancient of days were seated. In chapter seven, we read that I watched until thrones were put in place and the ancient of days were seated. In chapter seven, we read that I watched until thrones were put in place and the ancient of His garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head was like pure wool. His throne was a fiery flame; its wheels a burning fire. Ah, his clothes are white as snow, his hair like pure wool, his throne is a fiery flame, its wheels a burning fire. Ah, his clothes are white as snow, his hair like pure wool, his throne is a fiery flame, its wheels a burning fire. Ah, his clothes are white as snow, his hair like pure wool, his throne is a fiery flame, its wheels a burning fire. Ah, his clothes are white as snow. And then it says that there were thousands upon thousands of people there. 咁啊，嗰圣经确提到咧，有千千万万嘅人喺嗰度。And finally, it says the court was seated and the books were opened. 咁跟住佢就话，嗰个坐喺住佢嘅人就执行呢个诶审判诶案卷，亦都展开了。So this is obviously a, a, a judgment scene. 咁呢個好明顯就係講緊一個審判、一個法庭咁樣嘅一個一個場面。The books evidently were the were was what the evidence was. 啊，咁呢度所提到嘅案卷就係所謂嗰啲誒有蒐集咗嘅證據。So God's investigation begins in His throne in heaven. 所以。審查嘅開始就係喺上帝天上嘅寶座嗰度。This is not happening here on earth。唔係喺地上。It is happening about the people of God, but in heaven。啊，就係有關上帝信耶穌嘅人，但係呢個事情而家係喺天上發生。We said already that God's throne is represented by The sanctuary here, or the temple here on earth. Ah, 咁我哋曾經都講過啦，上帝嘅嘅寶座咧，就係誒誒預表，係代表咗誒呢個地上嘅聖所咧，就代表咗上帝嘅寶座。Jeremiah seventeen, a glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. 耶利米書十七章講，我哋嘅聖所係榮耀嘅寶座，從太初就在高處。The second question: When is does this judgment take place? 第二個問題就係誒係咩嘢時候發生咧 ？And that's the big question that we'll 
take the rest of our time this morning. 咁啊，今朝早我哋就大部分嘅時間就去講解呢一個嘅問題。But let me give you a little background first. 咁我首先俾一啲背景俾大家聽。When you read Daniel 7, you find that that chapter is about the kingdoms of the earth being judged. 咁啊，如果你睇但以理書第七章嘅時候咧，你會睇到咧。嗰度係講到地上嘅列國係被審判。We mentioned those kingdoms in the last session。咁我哋求誒以往嗰啲講座咧已經提過啦。When you come 嘅角度 ，When you come to Daniel eight, you find that it is the little horn power that is being judged。咁啊，第八章咧就講到嗰個小國嘅勢力咧被審判。That power we talked about in the last session that tried to change the Sabbath。啊，咁我哋求喺上一節嘅時候咧，就已經講咗啦。呢、这個小國嘅勢力咧，就係、是、係要去改變上帝嘅節期同埋嘅法律。In Daniel 8, we also find the date for the start of the investigation over God's people。我哋就睇到上帝審判審判上帝嘅子民嘅日期咧，已經定咗。Daniel is about 70 years old at this point. Daniel, you 当时写呢个但以理呢段经文嘅时候，大约系七十岁嘅时候。And he is given a vision. 佢就系得到一个异象。And the angel says to him, "For 2,300 days, then the sanctuary shall be cleansed." 咁啊，天使对佢讲，要到二千三百日，圣所就必洁净。Now I know that that doesn't mean much. Uh, those words, so we're going to explain that. Uh, 我知道淨係表面睇呢一節聖經咧，誒平平無奇。不過我哋慢慢拆解佢。So first question: What did the cleansing of the sanctuary have to do with judgment? 誒，我哋首先講一講先，潔淨聖所同審判有咩嘅關係 ？This is what we need to understand. 呢個我哋要明白。From the beginning, sacrifices were meant to help people understand the high cost of salvation. 誒，從一開始咧，獻祭就係為咗給予幫助，要人們明白救贖嘅高昂代價。They reflected the fact that Jesus one day would die as the sacrifice for human beings. 佢係預表咗耶穌基督有一日要嚟，將自己。献上为我哋嘅罪系死亡。And through his death, we could have forgiveness of sin. 从佢嘅死流血，我哋得着拯救。So from the very beginning, all those who followed God offered sacrifices as shadows of what would come. 所以从起初，诶，我哋嘅始祖，佢哋就开始诶做呢个献祭礼嘅时候，佢哋都系。知道呢個係代表呢個救主要嚟。Adam offered sacrifices, expecting the Messiah one day to die. 啊，亞當獻祭，獻上佢嘅祭禮，係預佢佢知道耶穌要嚟。Noah offered sacrifices. 羅亞同樣、啊、做呢個獻祭禮。Abraham offered sacrifices. 阿伯拉罕同樣。David offers sacrifice. 大卫亦都献祭。Daniel offers sacrifice. 但以理亦都献祭。All through thousands of years until you come to the point of the cross. 喺几千年嚟，就系都系诶各个先祖先言，佢哋都做献祭，直至到呢个十架嘅时代。When Jesus offered Himself as the sacrifice. 十架上高，耶稣基督献上自己嘅身体。作為活，作為呢個祭，獻祭。All the animals that had died before represented Jesus, who would die for all. 所有呢啲動物所獻上嘅呢啲動物獻祭啊，佢哋都係代表咗耶穌基督。So the Old Testament sacrifices pointed forward to Jesus' sacrifice. 所以舊約嘅祭禮獻祭就係指向新約耶穌基督嘅犧牲。And that's why God had instituted the building of the sanctuary. That's why it was there for. So, God had instituted the building of the sanctuary. That's why God had instituted the building of the sanctuary. That's why God had instituted the building of the sanctuary. 
according to all that I show you, that is the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all its furnishings, just you shall make it. What pattern is that? The pattern from the real tabernacle, the real temple in heaven. In this sanctuary reflected the throne room of heaven. Let's read some more from the book of Hebrews in the New Testament. The apostle says, We have now the true tabernacle which the Lord erected and not man. What tabernacle is that? The one on heaven or the one on earth? Well, obviously, the one in heaven, because he said that no man has erected that tabernacle. In verse 5, it says, But on earth is the copy and shadow of heavenly things. As Moses was divinely instructed when he was about to make the tabernacle. So you have the real thing in heaven. Which is the throne room of God is also his temple or tabernacle. And then on earth, Moses was instructed to build that based on the pattern in heaven. Many years later, King Solomon built the temple based on the tabernacle that Moses had built. And the reason God wanted them to have a tabernacle is to learn what God was doing on behalf of human beings. The sanctuary or tabernacle was in the middle of the camp. In the desert. And if you needed forgiveness, you needed to take a, a, an unblemished animal and walk all the way to the tabernacle. You came to the entrance and a priest would meet you there. He would point towards the rest of the tabernacle and say, Here you will find forgiveness. This uh, was set up. Uh, in a three-part system. Listen carefully to this. Outside was outside of the tabernacle was the courtyard. That's where the altar of sacrifice was. That's where, they, that's where the animals were burnt. They were sacrificed there. That represented the substitutionary aspect of Jesus' ministry towards us. 
承受咗呢個刑罰。Because instead of me dying on that altar, it was an animal who took my place. I was substituted. 因為唔係我喺嗰度誒要被燒死，而係係代表我嘅一個動物喺嗰度係被燒死。And Jesus would do that very thing. He would take my place. 而耶穌就係做咗同樣嘅事情，就係代替咗我，代替咗你，係承受咗呢個懲罰。The second、uh, part of it is called the holy place. 而另外一步咧，就係所謂聖所啦。And that represents the intercession, intercessory ministry of Jesus for us. 呢個就代替代預表咗誒呢個耶穌為我哋嘅代求呢一個嘅嘅職事。That is what Jesus has been doing for the last two thousand years since he left, since he went back to heaven. This is what Jesus from he rose from the dead to now, two thousand years, has been doing for us. He has been doing for us. So first, he was the victim. He was the sacrificial animal. First, Jesus was the victim. He was the sacrificial animal. Then he was the priest. He was the one. Interceding for us,、uh, our prayers in our life. 然后佢就系我哋嘅祭司，为我哋代求祈祷。So whenever you pray, you actually are praying to the high priest, Jesus Christ, who is in heaven. 所以我哋每一次祈祷嘅时候，我哋其实系向边个祈祷咧？就系向我哋嘅至高嘅呢个祭司耶稣祈祷。Now he has to have legal. Uh, reasons to answer your prayer. Ah, he has to have a legal reason to answer every prayer. Because, why is that? Because there is an enemy who is accusing you and me. Because there is an enemy who is accusing you and me. Because there is an enemy who is accusing you and me. Because there is an enemy who is accusing you and me. Because there is an enemy who is His prayer or her prayer. He is there to accuse us. He says, "Tell them that they are the most sinful. Why do you need to help them? Because they are sinners. They are sinners. So he ministers his blood that he shed for you, so that he can answer your answer, your question, your your prayers. So Jesus in the temple, as a priest's office, he uses his blood to pour out his blood. And the last portion of his ministry is called the is in the most holy place. Yeah, 第三部分咧就系至圣所啦。And that represents the judgment we're talking about today. 呢度就系所代预表咗咧，就系审判啦。We will see that Jesus moved from this compartment to that compartment only a few years ago. 咁啊，我哋。就會睇到耶穌係由呢個代土呢一個位置係聖所，去到至聖所喺冇幾耐之前。Two thousand years ago, he was here. 二千年，耶穌喺喺個祭壇嗰度獻上自己嘅生命。For the last two thousand years, he was here. 喺過往嘅二千年，佢喺個聖所裏邊為我哋代求。And for the last few decades, he's been here. 喺最近。呢幾十年嚇，佢就進入至聖所做審判嘅工作。When he's done with this work, he is going to come. 當佢完成呢個審判嘅工作，耶穌就翻嚟啦。We live very, very close to the end time. 我哋係非常之、非常之接近末世嘅時代。Now God faced two challenges because of human sin. 上帝面對有兩個嘅挑戰。One is how can he forgive human beings legally? 第一，佢如何饶恕人类，系合法的去饶恕人类。God cannot decide to say, "Okay, I'll just forgive you. It doesn't matter." 啊，上帝唔可以话，诶，诶，我宽恕佢哋啦，诶，唔使咩理由噶啦。Because God functions by law, and law needs to be just. 嗯，咁所以一，但系神系有律法嘅。係守律法嘅，必須要係合乎法律嘅。So you cannot simply ignore sin. If I if I hit somebody, and then I say, God forgive me. 啊，我唔可以話
，上帝唔可以話隨隨便便咁樣就誒誒、呃呃、去去寬恕啊，好似我哋去得罪咗人，打完一人一巴，然後話對唔住咁就算數。If God forgives me, then it will not be fair to the person I hit. 咁但係如果我哋咁樣做嘅時候，上帝原諒我哋。嘅話，咁咁對於嗰個受害者就唔公平咯。So in every forgiveness, there are legal issues involved. 咁所以每一個嘅寬恕都係要合乎法律。And God is dealing with those legal issues. 咁所以呢個係其中一個嘅問題，就係點樣饒恕人咧，係合法的。One issue is how to forgive human beings. Another issue is how to cleanse the whole universe from sin. 另外一個。誒挑戰就係點樣去清除宇宙中嘅罪惡咧 ？In order to accomplish both,、uh, to meet both problems, he had two kinds of ministry in the sanctuary. 咁所以咧，要解決解答以上所提到嘅兩個挑戰，咁樣耶穌就要有兩個嘅事工。One type of ministry was called the tamid, which means the daily ministry. 咁啊，第一个咧就系 tamid， 即系每日嘅事工。Another type of ministry was called the yearly or the yom kippur. 咁啊，另外一个咧就系每年做嘅事工。Yom kippur is a Hebrew term that means covering day, atonement day. 啊 ，yom kippur 呢个系一个希伯来文。意思就係贖罪或者遮蓋咁嘅意思。Let's talk a little bit about the daily ministry。所以首先先講一下每日嘅事工。This is a picture of the altar of sacrifice and how the priests、uh, worked on there。咁喺呢度咧睇到呢幅圖畫咧，就睇到嗰個祭壇。The daily ministry included a sacrifice for sin twice a day。所以每日嘅事工咧就包括咗每日兩次為罪。Uh, the priests put that sacrifice on behalf of the people. 咁啊，呢个祭司咧就代表嗰啲嘅嘅人人民咧，献祭。In the morning and in the afternoon, every time at the same time. 喺早上，喺诶下午嘅时间。And that sacrifice never went out for years. It never went out. 咁啊，每日喺一年里边，每一日都系有咁做嘅。They ensured that that sacrifice was continuous. 咁啊，誒祭司咧係必須要肯定嘅，呢一個係持續落去，每日都係要兩次嘅獻祭。Because it represents the continuous work of Christ on our behalf. 因為呢個就預表咗啊，耶穌亦都係一樣同樣嘅持續嘅，每日嘅。係喺嗰度為我哋作事工。The afternoon sacrifice was placed at three o'clock in the afternoon. 喺下午嗰個咧就係大約三點鐘嘅時候做。That's why we know Jesus died on the cross at three o'clock in the afternoon of Friday of that Friday. 所以我哋知道耶穌死喺星期五嗰日係大約係就係三點鐘嘅時候。The Gospels make that clear. 聖經講得好清楚。When the Gospels say that at noon. Uh, everything turned dark for three hours. 圣经记载喺嗰日嘅星期五喺到正午嘅时候，诶天就变黑，错走三个小时。And then at the end of three hours, Jesus cried out, um, uh, "Into your hands I commit my spirit." And he died. 啊，就喺呢个正午嘅三个小时之后，即系三点钟嘅时候，耶稣就话：神啊，我将我嘅我交托俾你。So this was done on behalf of all people. So this, uh, every day, uh,献祭呢，就系系为所有嘅人民做嘅。Why? 点解要咁做 ？Because we sin a lot more. We realize we sin. 啊，原来原因就系因为我哋所犯嘅罪咧，比我哋所知道嘅更要多。In other words, God cannot wait until you realize you've made a mistake. To ask for forgiveness. Ah, because so, God can't wait for you to say, "Ah, I, ah, I, 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 我哋傷害咗其他人，我哋自己都唔知道。But we still have done that. If that is not going to condemn us, it needs to be forgiven. 
咁所以，如果呢個呢啲咁嘅罪，我哋都唔知嘅，都係同樣係會影響我哋嘅。上帝都要為我哋去做一啲事。That's why the priests did that every day on behalf of all people。所以祭司每日都係要咁樣做兩次嘅獻祭。In addition, there were individual sins that could be cancelled by sacrificial offerings。咁啊，此外咧，就個人噶啦，個人嘅罪咧，都可以通過獻祭。Uh, 来抵消。That's when a person realized they had made terrible mistakes and they wanted to be forgiven。呢个咧就讲紧啊，嗰个人佢知道自己做错咗啲乜嘢，犯咗咩罪。Leviticus 5:5 It shall be when he is guilty in any of these matters that he shall confess that he has sinned in that thing。喺利未记五章五节讲，当他在这其中的一件事上有罪的时候，就要承认所犯的罪。And he shall bring his trespass offering to the Lord for his sin which he has committed. 把他的罪显，诶，祭牲献给耶和华为赎罪祭，为所犯嘅罪。Remember, I told you how this happened a few days ago. 啊，我早几日同你讲过呢个点样发生。Let's say I'm the person who wants forgiveness. 啊，假设我。需要誒饒恕。I must take one of my sheep or one of my lambs。我就要帶我一隻嘅羊。I may have nurtured that sheep or lamb. I may call it by name。可能我養咗呢只羊好耐，甚至啊俾個名俾佢添。But now I'm going to sacrifice this dear creature so that I can be forgiven。但係我而家就要，因為我要求誒饒恕。我要将我呢只我好喜爱嘅羊要献祭，要献献。And I walk all the way to the sanctuary。我哋就带住呢只我好中意嘅羊，系一路行到去呢个诶帐篷嗰度。And the priest help me with this。咁啊，过呢个入呢个大门，呢个祭司就嚟接待我。I kneel down and I put my animal down on the ground。咁咧，我咧就。誒、uh, 自己跪低，然後將我呢個心愛嘅羊咧，就放喺前邊。I put my hands on the animal's head。咁我就將我嘅手按喺呢個誒誒呢個羊嘅頭上。And, and I, I put my full、uh, weight on it。然後將我自己嘅全身嘅重量都加落去呢只動物上高。I confess my sin。然後我承認我嘅罪。And I believe that。My sin symbolically is transferred to the victim. 如果我咁做嘅时候，我就要相信我将我呢个罪啊，诶，就越诶系传咗落去啊呢只动物嗰度啦。So after I confess my sin， 我认罪之后 ，the animal is guilty, not me. 而家咧，嗰只羊咧，我心爱嘅羊咧，而家就犯咗我嗰啲罪啦。Instead of me dying, the animal dies。而家咧就我唔使死啦，嗰只羊要死。The priest takes a knife and gives it to me。咁咧，个祭司咧就会俾一把匕首俾我。He doesn't kill the animal. I kill the animal。祭司唔杀嗰只羊嘅，系我要杀呢个动物。I take the knife and I I make a slit on his neck。我就会攞住呢把刀。要喺割佢嘅喉咙。And the blood starts coming out of his of his neck。咁啊，呢啲血咧就喺嗰度嘅不断嘅涌流出嚟。And the priest helps me by collecting some of that blood。咁咧，祭司咧就会帮我啊，揾一个诶容器装起一部分呢啲嘅血。Because that blood now represents my guilt。因为呢啲血咧，而家就代表咗我所犯嘅罪啦。I can walk out free, but the animal now has to die。我而家咧就可以啊离开啦，自由啦啊！但系咧嗰只动物咧就要为我嘅罪而死。And this was done hundreds of times every single day。啊，咁呢个咧呢个咁样样吓献动物啊啊个别嘅人要献呢啲动物咧，可能咧好几百次啊每日。What did the priest do with the blood that came out of the animal？ 哇！咁嗰個祭司咁啊，攞咗呢啲血之後，咁點做咧 ？The priest would go inside the sanctuary。咁咧，祭司就會攞住呢啲血咧，就進入呢個聖所。They had the bowl of blood with them。咁啊，佢哋揸住一個容器，裏邊裝咗呢啲有罪嘅血。
They would sprinkle some of that blood on the horns of the um, of the altar of incense. 咁咧，祭司咧就会用手沾一啲啲血咧，就涂涂抹落去嗰、那个诶呢、呃这个诶、呃、金香坛嘅嘅几四个角嗰度。And then sprinkle it against the veil between the holy and most holy place. 然后咧就。將血咧彈上去嗰、那個誒呢、呃这個誒、呃、所謂第一層嘅幔子，就係喺嗰個聖所同至聖所之間嗰個幔子，就係第一層嘅幔子。Remember that's the veil that was so thick that was beautifully、uh, crafted。Remember 你記得嘛？呢、这、一個第一層嘅幔子就係嗰、那個我同你哋講過啊，好靚，做得好精細，用好多人力。So you can, you can imagine the amount of blood drops that are on that veil after dozens of times every day. 你可以想象中系有几多血咧系沾喺嗰个幔子上高啊！每日咧都好几几多百次咁样样。Why would they do that to such a beautiful place? 啊，点解要咁样做啊？喺一个咁靓嘅。一个圣所里边 ，the sanctuary inside was all gold。啊，你记得嘛？圣经讲啊，呢个圣所里边所有嘅陈设品都系镀咗金啊，金嚟。This veil was a work of art。啊，呢个你你呢一块幔子咧，系系用好多人力精心做出嚟嘅。It even had figures of of angels in gold and silver。啊，甚至咧喺个幔子上高咧，佢。系收咗落去咧，系一啲金嘅或者银嘅天使嘅嘅嘅嘅形象喺度。Why would you put the blood of animals against that veil？ 哇，你点解要将一啲咁得人惊嘅血啊弹上去嗰个幔子上高 ？Listen to me carefully， 请你细心嘅听我讲。Because God says your sin is so terrible， it will infect other people。Bring it to me。因为上帝讲你所犯嘅罪系咁严重、咁可怕，会影响咁多嘅人，所以将呢啲罪交俾我。Leave your sin with me。将你嘅罪，所有嘅罪交托俾我。Paul says that Jesus was represented by the veil。保罗话呢一个幔子，第一层嘅幔子就系、是、代表咗主耶稣基督。So I left the sanctuary forgiven, but the Evidence of my sin remain in the veil. 咁我吓诶做完献祭礼之后，我就自由啦，我可以离开。但系我所有嘅罪，所有嘅证据，而家都留咗喺呢一个第一层嘅幔子。And the evidence of thousands of others who had already, who had also come to be forgiven of their sins. 同样嘅，千千万万嘅人，佢哋所犯嘅罪。所有嘅证据而家都留咗喺呢个幔子上高。So the question is why? Why did that blood need to be there？ 个个问题就系点解呢啲血要留喺呢个幔子上高 ？Because 点解咧 ？There is an enemy， 因为有一个仇敌 ，who needs to have legal justification。Before he can believe you're actually forgiven， 佢要求系法律嘅程序、法律嘅证据，系我哋点解可以得着赦免 ？Remember when Lucifer rebelled in heaven？ 你记得路石普撒旦佢犯罪离开天庭嘅时候 ？The Bible says he did not prevail. His views did not prevail. 啊，圣经讲撒旦。啊，嘗試，但係佢失敗咗。So the other angel said, "Out you go." 啊，其他嘅天使就話：好啦，誒，你你你失敗啦，你離開啦。And he was cast down to the earth. 佢就被趕到呢個地地球上。Now listen carefully. The great dragon was cast out. That serpent of gold called the devil and Satan. 聖經講，大龍就是那古蛇，名叫魔鬼，又叫撒旦，他被摔在地上。The accuser of our brethren, who accused them before God day and night. 那个在我们上帝面前昼夜控告我们弟兄的 
This is what the devil does with you every day. You can't see it, but that's what he does. Ah, Satan, 每日而家就系做紧呢件事情，我哋睇唔到佢，但系佢每日都喺嗰度控告我哋。He tempts you and he trips you and then he accuses you of having fallen. 佢试探你，以致到你跌倒，你跌倒，佢就去指控你。So we are at the mercy of what the devil could do. So we are at the mercy of what the devil could do. So we are at the mercy of what the devil could do. Unless God came to help us and to save us. So we are at the mercy of what the devil could do. And that's why there is a record of our sin in the sanctuary. So we are at the mercy of what the devil could do. Because the devil keeps track of your sins, God must keep track of your forgiveness. He must keep track of your cancelled sin. Ah, because the devil keeps track of your sins, God must keep track of your cancelled sin. Ah, because the devil keeps track of your sins, God must keep track of your cancelled sin. Ah, because the devil keeps track of your sins, God must keep track of your cancelled sin. Ah, because the devil keeps track of your sins, God must keep track of your cancelled sin. Ah, because the devil keeps track of your sins, God must keep track of your cancelled sin. Ah, because the devil keeps track of your sins, God must keep track of your cancelled sin. Ah, because the devil keeps track of your sins, God must keep track of your cancelled sin. Ah, because the devil keeps track of your sins, God must keep track of your cancelled So we have all our sins recorded. Because when the devil says you must, you must destroy Ron, he is a sinner. Ah, because Satan is every day attacking us. And God says, "Hey, you should solve this problem." He is a sinner. Jesus Christ then can say to him, "Yes, he is a sinner, but he came to me to save you." But Christ then can say to him, "Yes, he is a sinner, but he came to me." And he left his sin with me. But Jesus Christ said, "Yes, it is true. He is a sinner, but he has given all of his sins to me." And I forgave him of his sin. But 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 I forgave him of his sin. So that's what happens on a daily basis. So, in this, uh, the temple, the temple, the sanctuary, is every day like this. Is happening these things. But once a year, God takes care of the matter. But every year, there is one time God has to deal with it. And that is what happens on the Day of Atonement. So, in this, uh. Once a year, the sanctuary was cleansed from the record of people's sins. And every year, one more time, the sanctuary was cleansed from the record of people's sins. He had already forgiven us. 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 He had already But the record need to be evident to everybody in the universe. But the record still need to be kept in that place to give to all the other spirits, all the other most important Satan. So the universe can be assured that we will not do the same thing later on. So the universe can be assured that we will not do the same thing later on. So the universe can be assured that we will not do the same thing later on. When somebody has committed a crime and he's condemned, he's sent to jail, right? Ah, 如果有人犯咗法啊，做错咗事，佢就可能要被判坐监，佢要去。Why is he sent to jail? 点解要去坐监 ？Primarily to protect the rest of society. 因为要运起佢，咁啊，其他人咧就会平安啦。And he's sent there long enough to recognize that and say, "I'm not going to do this again." 咁所以咧，呢啲證據要留低，俾其他嘅生靈睇到。咁佢哋睇咗之後，佢哋話：，哎，我唔會犯同樣嘅錯。So being in prison is to protect the society。咁啊，所以如果犯咗罪嘅人係要喺留喺呢個呢個監牢裏邊，係因為要保障其他嘅人。The universe needs to be protected from us。咁啊，其他呢個宇宙嘅生靈咧，佢哋都係同樣要係誒，上帝要保護佢哋。Because we are the only creatures in the universe who have become selfish. Because in this cosmic universe, the creatures of the universe, we are the only ones who have become selfish. 
係誒誒自私嘅。We are the only ones who have followed Satan what Satan suggested。我哋係唯一嘅。係啊，跟從咗撒但嘅説話去做事。So let's go back to the yearly ministry here。所以我哋再睇一下呢個每年一次嘅事工。Once a year, God removed the record of people's sins。咁啊，每一年一次，上帝一次過就會將所有嘅記錄係清除。And that represented the one time in history when God will finally burn all the records。咁呢個就代表咗。喺呢、这個誒誒將會發生嘅就係有一次過，上帝會將所有嘅罪都係係清除。Because everybody will know what has happened in the life of each person。因為所有嘅人都知道啊，每一個人生我哋人生所發生嘅。所犯嘅罪。That was called the Day of Atonement or Yom Kippur。呢個就係叫做贖罪日啦。Let's read about it. Leviticus 16. 让我哋喺圣经嗰度睇一睇点讲。So he shall make atonement for the most holy place because of the uncleanness of the children of Israel. 他要为诶至圣所赎罪，因为因以色列人的不洁净和过犯。In the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you shall afflict your souls and do no work at all. 每年七月初十，你要你们要刻苦己心，任何工作都不可做。In other words, that's a very important day. You need to really focus. 即系话呢一日咧系非常之重要，你一定要好专注喺呢件。For on that day, the priest shall make atonement for you to cleanse you. 因为这日要为你们赎罪，洁净你们。That you may be clean from all your sins before the Lord. 使你们脱离一切的罪，在耶和华面前得以洁净。In other words, declare clean forever. 即系话宣布你洁净啦。Now, this is called the Day of Atonement, but this is also known as the Day of Judgment. 呃，呢个系称为赎罪之日，其实亦都系审判之日。Why? How? How could that be? 点解系咁咧？ Only those who have brought their sin to the Lord could be cleansed by the Lord. Because those who are willing to bring their sin to the Lord are the only ones who can be cleansed by the Lord. So you are being judged. You are being judged whether you had、uh, come to God or not come to God. So we are being judged. We are being judged whether you had come to God or not come to God. So we are being judged. If people had not come with their sacrifice, there was no record of blood for them in the sanctuary. 如果古时代嘅以色列人佢哋犯咗罪，冇带牲畜嚟献祭，冇将个血弹喺嗰个麦子上高，咁就冇佢哋悔罪嘅记录。The only people that could be exonerated were those who had come to the sanctuary. 但系其他嗰啲有嚟认罪献祭嘅，佢哋嘅记录就喺嗰度。Those who didn't come to ask for forgiveness, they had there was no record that God had forgiven given them. 咁啊，嗰啲冇嚟到，冇做到呢件事情，冇悔改，冇认罪，冇献祭嘅，咁就冇佢哋嘅记录。So that's why the cleansing of the sanctuary represented the final judgment. 咁所以咧，洁净圣所就代表咗最后嘅审判。The exoneration of penitent sinners for from their sin. 就系使悔罪嘅罪人从佢哋嘅罪中得着释放。He said to me, "For two thousand three hundred days, then the sanctuary shall be cleansed." 但以理书讲，他对我说。要到二千三百日，圣所就必洁净。Now, what is the connection between this prophecy and our time？ 咁啊，好啦，而家讲一讲呢个预言同我哋而家呢个时代有咩嘅关系 ？I heard a man's voice that said， 啊，但以你讲，我听见有人呼声叫说 ，This is Daniel speaking，Gabriel。Make this man to understand the vision. 咁啊，呢度话加百列啊，要使这人明白这异象。Because Daniel did not understand the vision yet. 因为但以理
So he came near to where I stood, and when he came, he said to me, Understand, son of man, that the vision refers to the time of the end. Uh, when did Daniel live? Uh, he, he lived 2,600 years ago. But he was told that this vision had to do with the time of the end. In other words, modern times, our times. So today is the time of judgment, the time of cleansing. Let's look at the vision more carefully. The vision was in the heavenly sanctuary. The vision was for the time of the end. And the vision involves a symbolic time period. What symbolic time period? Well, in the Bible, time prophecies are a day equals a literal year. So that's based on Ezekiel 4, verse 6. So, the 2300 days actually meant 2300 literal years. Remember when I told you that Daniel lived 2600 years ago? So this would be 2300 years in the future, away, ahead of Daniel. So Now Daniel must have understood that part because he got sick. Another 2,000 years before this is fulfilled? So he was a man of God. He understood a lot of things about God. So he got sick. He says, this doesn't make any sense to me. Verse 27, I, Daniel, fainted and was sick for days. I was astonished by the vision, but no one understood it. Years later, Daniel was praying for the restoration of Jerusalem when Gabriel, the same angel, came to explain the vision. Now stay with me. This is fascinating. Verse, verse 20 says, Now while I was speaking, praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel, Daniel was in his 80s already. Why was he praying for Israel? Because Jeremiah had prophesied that the captivity in Babylon would last 70 years. Uh, and the 70 years were almost over. So he was praying that the people of Israel would be released from Babylon. So While he was praying, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, 
。咁喺佢祈祷嘅时候，先前嘅异象中所见嗰位天使加百列就出现啦。Reach me about the time of the evening offering。约莫咧就系喺献晚祭嘅时候，诶，迅速飞到呢度嚟。Now what time did I tell you is the evening offering？ 我话俾你听，诶，晚祭系几点钟啊？ Three o'clock in the afternoon. 三点钟下午。So about that time, the angel came. 就系喺三点钟嘅下午，就呢个天使出现。He said, "Oh Daniel, I have now come forth to give you skill to understand." 但以利亚，现在我嚟要使你有智慧，有聪明。For you are greatly beloved. Therefore, consider the matter and understand the vision. 因为你因你是蒙爱的。所以你要思想这事，明白呢个异象。And then, for the next four, four verses, he explained the vision. 咁啊，跟住呢四节圣经咧，天使就解释呢个异象。Remember, this was based on what he had told them about thirteen years before, that the the prophecy would take twenty three hundred years to fulfill. 咁啊，呢个你记得嘛？呢个预言系喺。十三年前已經係顯示過呢個異象，已經顯示過俾但以理睇，係要呢個異象係要誒二千三百年之後先至發生。Remember, Daniel's con- previous concern was the twenty-three hundred day prophecy, but he didn't understand it. 但以理個擔憂係咩咧？就係、是、呢個二千三百日嘅預言。His current concern is the restoration of Jerusalem, which had been partially destroyed. But now, his prayer, his concern is what? It is to be able to restore and rebuild Jerusalem. And he was praying for the people of Israel to be able to go back to their land. He is praying for the people of Israel to be able to go back to their land. He is praying for the people of Israel to be able to go back to their land. He is praying for the people of Israel to be able to go back to their land. He is praying for the people of Israel to be able to go back to their land. He is praying for the Then he said, "Seventy weeks are determined for your people and for your holy city." 天使就同佢讲，为你百姓和你圣城已定已经定了七十个七。Seventy weeks. What does that mean? 七十个七咩意思咧 ？Each day represents a year, right? 诶，记得每一日代表一年。So what you have, seventy weeks, is four hundred and ninety. Days, which means 490 literal years. So, 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 The anointing of the most holy was during the day of anointing, the 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 day of atonement, the Yom Kippur. Ah, 咁呢度所谓诶诶高呢个至圣所，即系话呢个赎罪日。So, four hundred and ninety years have been cut off. The the Hebrew word is shatag, cut off from the twenty-three hundred years. 咁所以嗰四百九十诶年咧。就係誒係誒聖經用嘅字眼就係剪除或者即係喺喺扣除出嚟，喺二千三百年裏邊扣除呢四百九十年。The angel explains the four hundred and ninety years because that impacts the nation of Israel directly。因為特別提到呢四百九十年咧，點解咧？誒，因為係直接影響到當時以色列國。And that was, and that was the concern that Daniel had, his own nation. Because 当时以诶，但以理最关注嘅就系以色列人可唔可以得释放。But the four hundred and ninety are simply the first part of the entire prophecy. 咁啊，呢四百九十日或者年咧，只不过系二千三百日年。Now Gabriel says, "Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the command to restore and build Jerusalem." 天使继续讲，你当知道，当明白，从发出命令恢复并重建耶路撒冷开始。The walls of Jerusalem had been destroyed, so the idea was to rebuild them. 诶，当时嘅诶呢个耶路撒冷嘅城城墙咧，已经系被毁坏咗。所以咧
要重建。Until Messiah the Prince, until Jesus would be here. 啊，直到受高嘅君王出现。There shall be seventy seven weeks and sixty two weeks. Ah, 必有七个七和六十二个七 Well, let's calculate this. Ah, 来算一算先，大家 Seven weeks plus sixty two. 七十七加啊，七加六十二 That means forty nine years plus four hundred and thirty four literal years. Ah, 七个星期就四十九年，六十二个星期就四百三十四年 So there will be four hundred and eighty three years from the beginning of the prophecy until the Messiah would be here. 咁咧呢度即系话咧喺开始呢个时间，再过四百八十三年。受高者就会出现。From the going forth of the command to restore and build Jerusalem， 呢度话咧系从发出命令复诶诶重建耶路撒冷开始计起。That means we need to find a date in history when that happened。咁所以要明白呢个预言咧，我哋一定要揾到究竟。In the 历史上高几时开始重建耶路撒冷 ？The decree to go back and rebuild Jerusalem was made was given in the year 457 BC。咁我哋喺历史嗰度知道咧，发出重建耶路撒冷嘅命令咧，就系喺几元前四百五十七年。That would be about a hundred years after Daniel was alive。咁啊，呢个呢个时间咧就差唔多咧系。但以你死咗之后一百年先发生。The prophecy wouldn't begin until about a hundred years after Daniel lived。啊，呢呢个预言二千三百日嘅预言咧，开始嘅日期咧系但以你死后一百年之后先开始。So the four hundred and ninety years constituted judgment against the nation of Israel。所以四百九十年。呢度所講嘅咧，就係對以色列人嘅審判。Why？ 點解咧 ？Because the nation of Israel had left God behind. They had gone after other gods. 因為以色列人喺誒民喺嗰個時候離棄咗上帝。So God says, I'm going to give you five more centuries to repent. 所以我神話我俾你五百年去悔改。I am going to even give you my son, and and if he cannot do it, it will not happen. 上帝话喺呢五百年最完结嘅完结嘅时候，我甚至将我嘅独生子都俾埋你哋。如果你哋都唔悔改，就冇办法啦。Now the rest of the time,、uh, some people say that's judgment on Christians. 咁啊，另外嗰一千一一千八百几年咧，就系话系。That is not what the Bible bears. The, the Bible says that is when the gospel is taken to the Gentiles from the time of Christ. But the Bible says that is when the gospel is taken to the Gentiles from the time of Christ. The Jews had 490 years to accept to receive the gospel. Ah, Jews and Israelites, they had 490 years to accept to receive the gospel. And the rest of the world has this time to receive the gospel. 而全世界其他嘅外邦人就有一千八百一十年。At the end of the prophecy is when judgment takes place upon Christians, upon the house of God. 咁咧喺呢个二千三百年完结嘅时候，就系基督对基督徒嘅审判嘅时候。So no one understand from the going forth of the command to restore and rebuild Jerusalem. Um, until Messiah the Prince, the Prince, there will be seven weeks and sixty-two weeks. 咁啊，呢度话咧，你当知道，当明白，从发出命令恢复重建耶路撒冷，直到受高嘅君出现，必有七个七和六十二个七。Now, Messiah Jesus became the Messiah at his baptism. 啊，耶稣成为。呢、这個尼賽亞誒、呃、就係喺佢受受洗嘅時候。He was anointed at his baptism。誒聖經記載佢喺佢嘅誒誒水裏邊出嚟嘅時候，佢就受高聖靈嘅高。
He was 30 years old at that time. 当时耶稣大系三十岁嘅时候。And and、uh, Acts 10 tells us that. 诶喺呢个诶《使徒行传》第十章系咁样话俾我哋听。So 483 days from the time the decree was sent to rebuild Jerusalem. 即系话从宣布重建耶路撒冷嗰年开始嘅向前。四百八十三年。Now we have seven years left。咁啊，四百三八十三年就仲有七年。真。From 457 BC, you add 483, you get to the year 27 AD。啊，如果你由誒幾元前四百五十七年誒加三四百八十三年咧，你就會去到。And that is the year Jesus began his ministry. 咁喺纪元二十七年咧，就系耶稣诶尼赛亚开始去做诶诶传道嘅时候。Right after his baptism. 喺佢受浸之后，佢开始出去。Now let's see what happens next. 咁我哋睇下之后点。After the sixty-two weeks, Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself. 过了六十二个七，那受膏者被剪除，一无所有。What does it mean he would be cut off? 诶，咩意思咧？受膏者被剪除。He would be cut off from God. 佢就系会被喺与上帝嘅诶诶被诶分离。But it wouldn't. But it wouldn't be because of his own sins, because he didn't sin. 并唔系因为耶稣自己有罪，佢冇罪。Not for himself. It was because of us that he was cut off. 唔系因为佢自己嘅缘故，系因为我哋嘅缘故，佢被剪除。And the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end of it. 诶，必有一王的百姓来毁灭这城和圣所，他的终局。So after the year 27, Jesus would be cut off. That's what happened at the cross. 咁喺纪元二十七年之后，圣经讲啊，耶稣诶呢个尼赛亚就被剪除。But the but his own people would be responsible for the destruction of Jerusalem. 但系其他嘅人就会系啊，佢嘅百姓就会成为呢个诶毁灭毁坏圣所嘅诶嘅。How were they responsible for that? 点解佢哋系诶诶对呢个毁灭圣所有责任咧 ？The Jews became very stubborn and they fought against the Romans. 犹太人系非常之顽固，佢哋要对抗嗰啲当时嘅罗马嘅管治。When the Romans sent armies to siege Jerusalem, the Jews hid in the temple. 咁啊，罗马诶。政權派兵去誒誒誒去去圍圍困呢個聖城嘅時候，猶太人好多匿喺嗰個聖城裏邊。But they would not surrender. The the Romans were patient with them, but they would not surrender. 咁啊誒，羅馬嘅兵丁咧，其實咧對猶當時嘅匿喺啲聖城裏邊猶太人咧，都好有忍耐嘅。但係佢哋佢哋好頑固，唔肯放棄。The Romans gave him day after day, week after week, for them to surrender. There was no way the Jews could win that. 咁啊，罗马嘅兵咧已经俾咗佢哋好多好多时间啊，去诶去放弃诶呢个诶坚持要留喺圣城里边，但系佢哋佢哋唔放弃。So the Roman leaders got so tired of it that they stormed the city and burned the temple and burned the city and burned everything down. 所以罗马嘅兵嗰啲长官最后作决定，就系我哋要攻入去，将成个诶耶路撒冷城烧毁佢，包括个圣城都烧毁咗。So the people responsible for the destruction of Jerusalem were actually the Jews。咁所以咧，诶边个嗰啲系诶令到圣城被烧毁、诶毁灭嘅，系就系当时嘅。Had they, had, had they surrendered, the Romans would have never destroyed the 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 temple or the city. If they were willing to surrender, ah, to the Romans, ah, the Romans would not have destroyed the temple or the city. The last verse, 
Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. 二十七节，在一七之期，他必与许多人立盟约。One prophetic week is how many years? Literal years. 一个星期系几多年啊 ？Seven years. 七年。In the middle of the week, he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. In other words. What we have here is the last seven years of the prof- of the 490. Ah, 我哋而家仲系讲紧头嗰四百九十年。What's half of seven? 最后嗰七年 ，OK. Half of seven is three and a half. 最后嗰七年嘅一半就系三年半。That's the middle of the week. 三年半就系喺三三三三日半就系喺一个星期里边嘅中间。Three and a half years from the fall of 27, which began Jesus' ministry, takes you to the spring of 31. 你記得耶穌受洗就喺係紀元二十七年，如果你加三年半落去，就係三十一年。And that's when Jesus was cut off. Lisa 喺喺喺紀元三十一年，就係耶穌被剪除犧牲嘅時候。That's when He was crucified for us. 就係喺紀元三十一年，耶穌被釘喺十字架上。These are the last seven years. 所以最後呢七年。Beginning, 代表咗喺呢度。Beginning with the year 27， 喺紀元二十七年。In the middle of that prophetic week, he was crucified。聖經講喺喺個七七日，即係七年嘅中間，佢嘅受膏者就要被獻獻上。He was crucified at the exact time it was prophesied。所以基督就係喺預言嘅嗰個期間裏邊係獻上自己嘅。On that day, the moment he died. The temple in, I mean, the veil of the temple was rent in two. 誒、uh, ，當耶穌誒、uh, 死嘅時刻，誒、uh, 聖城裏邊嘅幔子就從上至下斷落嚟。And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. 係呢度記載咗耶穌最後誒、uh, 死之前大喊一聲，氣就斷了。He gave up his life. 佢就然後聖經講，殿嘅幔子從上到下裂為兩半。Why? Because the sacrificial systems were no longer valid from that moment on. 點解咧？因為喺嗰個時刻，呢、这個獻祭呢、这個制度已經無作無需要再存在啦。Because the ultimate sacrifice had been offered. 因為最終極嘅。呢、这個獻祭，呢、这個羔羊已經死咗喺十字架上。That happened in the year 31, in the spring of the year 31. 就係喺秋誒春季紀元三十一年。When Christians celebrate Easter every spring, they remember that event. 咁啊，所以基督徒而家誒每年慶祝呢個所謂復活節嘅時候。Three and a half more years would take you to the year 34. 再加多三年半落去，就会去到纪元三十四年。And on the year 34, the last martyr、uh, among those who followed Jesus was was、uh, was killed. 咁啊，喺纪元三十四年发生咩事咧？就系诶，基督徒最后一个诶诶，即系牺牲诶，为耶稣基督嘅原因。His, his name was Stephen, and he was stoned to death. And you can read it and read about it in Acts seven. 咁啊，如果你去《使徒行传》第七章，你就睇睇可以读到当时提到呢一位啊，为耶稣基督牺牲嘅一个啊啊啊使徒，佢啊门徒，佢就叫做史提凡。As he was dying, he had a vision. 当佢啊喺临死啊之前啊。And, and this is what happened. Look, I see the heaven open and the Son of Man standing. He says. 咁啊，使提反喺佢臨死之前，佢就話：我睇到天開咗，人子站在嗰度。Why is that significant? 點解咁重要 ？Because the Bible says that when Jesus went to heaven, he sat at the right hand of the the Father. 因為聖經咁樣講啊。当耶稣复活升天之后，佢坐喺上帝嘅右边。But now he sees him standing. 
。但係史提反呢度話，佢睇到人子，即係耶穌喺天上而家站起嚟。In the ancient world, when judges had to pronounce sentence, that's when they stood. 誒、uh, 站起嚟咩意思咧？就係、是、喺古代嘅時候，當嗰啲誒審判官佢要誒誒、uh, uh, 判刑嘅時候，佢就要企喺企起身。All through the trial, they remain sitting. 誒、uh, 審判嘅階段，整個過程佢都係坐喺度嘅。But for the sentence, they stood. 但係要判要判決嘅時候，就要企起嚟。God is judging His own people, Israel. The 490 years are over. 因为耶稣而家要企起嚟，系判审判判断嗰啲以色列人，因为呢四百九十年已经圆满啦。And they still rejected what God had offered to them。但系经过咗呢四百九十年，以色列人仍然拒绝接受耶稣做佢哋个嘅救主。That was the year 34 A.D. If you add the rest of the years, you come to the year. 1844. 咁啊，所以喺头诶四百九十年嘅完完结嘅时候咧，就系纪元嘅三十四年。如果你再加一千八百一十日落去咧，就会去到我哋而家讲嘅一八四四年。We're almost done. 我哋差唔多完啦。I told you this was complex. 我都话呢个系几复杂下嘅。But this was only 175 years ago. 一八四四年，只不过系大约一百七十五年前嘅事啫。On October 1844, twenty three hundred Yom Kippurs later, the cleansing in heaven began. 咁啊，按照呢个计算，去到一八四四年十月二十二号，就系呢二千三百呢个赎罪日都发生咗之后啦。天上就開始潔淨嘅工作。In other words, judgment on those who claim to be Christians。呢個就係開始咗嗰啲神家裏邊嘅審判，就係嗰啲相信耶穌嘅人。Those who claim to have been forgiven by Jesus Christ。所有凡係係講話自己已經係得咗上帝。耶稣基督嘅宽恕嘅人 ，We have been living in the judgment since the for the last 175 years。所以我哋已经生活咗喺判审判嘅时期咧，有一百七十五年啦。We are living in the very last days。我哋而家就系活喺审判嘅时候。You know Jesus Christ could have come a hundred years ago。诶，耶稣佢可以系喺一百年前已经嚟咗。And none of us would have known it。我哋就我哋呢度嘅人都唔会知道啊。Because none of us were alive a hundred years ago。啊，一百年前我哋都冇人喺呢度。So it's a good thing he has waited because now you and I have the opportunity to go home with him。感谢神，佢等多啊一段时间啊，再多一百年，我哋而家喺度啦。But he's not going to allow this to go on much longer。但系上帝唔会让呢件审判嘅诶嘅过程。系永远嘅持续落去。Today is the time of judgment for believers。今日就系审判嘅时候。Today is the time for cleansing of the heart。今日就系要洁净我哋嘅心嘅时候。In 1844, this caused a great spiritual revival。当时喺一八四四年就系开始咗一个诶灵命。And the revival came because people started studying the book of Daniel, the prophetic book of Daniel. 喺一八四四年就有一班人去研读但以理呢个预言。And that is what caused this church to be born. 亦都因为咁样样嘅复兴嘅运动，以致到我哋有今日嘅基督教罗马社会。This is a church of Bible students. 呢一个我哋呢一个教会系。按照圣经研读圣经嘅一个教会，我哋系好好认真嘅咁样去睇圣经，诶研读圣经，而且系相信上帝。Revelation 14 says, "Fear God and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment has come." 
啊，啟示錄十四章講要敬畏上帝，把榮耀歸給他，因為他施行審判的時候已經到了。God is finishing His work. 上帝要完成佢嘅工作。Have you left everything in His hands? 你點樣樣將一切嘅事情放喺神嘅手裏邊咧 ？Today is the time of judgment. 今日就係審判嘅時候。Today is the time for cleansing. 今日就係要潔淨嘅時候。Today is the time to turn to God. 今日就要轉向上帝嘅時候。We are running out of time. 我哋冇時間啦。And we don't know when He will finish this work. 我哋唔知道上帝喺幾時會完成呢個工作。He can be done next week. 可能佢下個禮拜就完成呢個工作。He can be done next month. 可能會多一個月。And then he will pronounce in heaven, "Let him who is just remain just, and let him who is wicked remain wicked." He will announce that those evil ones will continue to be evil, and those righteous ones will continue to be righteous. 